giving in your heart and give him praise and give him praise come to his presence with thanksgiving in your heart your voice is raised your voice is raised give glory And be the hearts give glory and honor and power unto Him, Jesus, the name above all names. Give glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Hearty welcome to the Eucharist once again, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, my dear families, you children. Hearty welcome, and I believe some deacons, permanent deacons are also. Hearty welcome to you too. Nice to have this whole family filled up. What is a special word? I always say that because I know that many convents and even the cloisters are following. To the cloisters, a special greeting. We just celebrated your feast, 16th of uh, July. Happy feast. But, and to all the sisters, a hearty welcome. Today is the feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of our mother, our lady. And so we thank them for for... Uh, having prepared the best gift Jesus could receive, uh, Mary as his mother. Let's begin this Eucharistic sacrifice, putting ourselves in God's presence, asking his forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant to the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please sit for the readings. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses turned and went down from the mountain with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand. On the front and on the back, they were written. The tablets were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But he said, It is not the sound of shouting for victory or the sound of the cry of defeat, but the sound of singing that I hear. 
And as soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses' anger burnt hot, and he threw the tablets out of his hand and broke them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf that they had made and burnt it with fire and ground it to powder and scattered it on the water and made the people of Israel drink it. And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you that you have brought such a great sin upon them? But Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord burn hot. You know the people that they are set on evil. For they said to me, Make us gods who shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. So I said to them, Let any who have gold take it off. So they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. The next day Moses said to the people, You have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up to the Lord. Perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. So Moses returned to the Lord and said, Alas, this people have sinned a great sin. They have made for themselves gods of gold. But now, if you will forgive their sin, but if not, please blot me out of your book that you have written. But the Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out of my book. But now go, lead the people to the place about which I have spoken to you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Altogether, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal. They exchanged their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. Our response, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They forgot the God who was their saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt, such wonders in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. Our response, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For this he said he would destroy them, but Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before them to turn back his anger from destruction. Our response, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Kindly stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leavened. All these things Jesus said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken of by the prophet. 
I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, every Gospel passage is like the mustard seed which grows and grows and grows and has got every word has got so much meaning, so much power, so much grace, so much uh, of reflection and 2,000 years, over 2,000 years ago they were uttered by Jesus and uh, they drop, fall drop by drop into our hearts as it were and germinate there and produce so much fruit. Um, I, as I was reading this, I remember the birds of the air is in this uh, birds of the air came and made nests in his branches. I wonder whether you know there was an association of uh, people, the disciples of Jesus. Uh, uh, I met them. They were in South India called birds of the air. And then they were really going out and working for the poor, working for the uh, people who are uh, distressed, etc. And, and, and if living in community. But I want to go to the first reading uh, where we are continuing uh, walking in Exodus chapter 33 uh, Moses is the chosen people are going towards the promised land chosen people the Israelites they were they left Egypt now they're going fr from slavery and we we God has intervened several times so the miracle of the Red Sea the all the miracles you know, all the ten plagues and how they would go and uh, now Moses has gone to the mountain to pray to God. For a long time he uh, had not come back. And so the people got impatient. And then we hear what, that, what happened. Aaron mentions. And they said, uh, oh, what happened to this man who, who was representing God? And uh, they, let's, we need God. And, and so they asked Aaron, make us a God. So Aaron says, bring all your gold etc they brought all the gold earrings and uh, bangles and necklaces and they mo ma he molded ma melted all the gold and made a golden calf and they began to worship the golden calf and they, and he said this is the this is the god who brought you out of egypt moses after a long time there's no clear indication how long he was in the mountain praying talking to god uh, he had uh, received the Ten Commandments and he uh, now wrote the Ten Commandments on tablets then, and he comes down and as he's coming with Joshua says that uh, Joshua said uh, uh, now they are uh, seems to be they're shouting uh, lots of shout as he was coming down to the crowd he was coming down and they said uh, this is not the sound of war uh, and what's it then he said no, this is not the sound of uh, defeat either they're not, uh, we can't make out what it is and then they came closer and they found that they, there was this golden calf and they're all jumping and uh, shouting and uh, uh, adoring this golden calf and Moses was so angry so angry he just come uh, after having experienced God's presence the, and he knew how much God had speci specially, specifically intervened for them and so he was so angry that he said in anger he even broke the two tablets of stone and he shouted he took the uh, golden calf melted it and uh, he sort of destroyed it made it into dust so angry and uh, he then knows that the people have sinned against God and we have we have the whole passage where really uh, God is an angry because Yahweh is angry because they have betrayed him. They have uh, forgotten all that he had done uh, in their weakness. But then, and then finally, we have there. God says uh, he he pleads with God, forgive them, forgive them. And God says, lead the people. Uh, I will tell you what will happen. And we know ultimately what happened. That none of the people who really betrayed him ever reached the promised land. Their children did, but never reached the promised land. And so we have this journey carrying on of how uh, we accompany them and learn so much from them, how we to ourselves sometimes uh, forget all that God has done for us in a moment of our weakness and, and we adore false gods. 
Pope Francis in Evangelii Gaudium, who, uh, I think his first encyclical, he speaks of how uh, we, the modern generation, has made ourselves have made golden calves of money, of uh, economics, of material things. Today I was saying it's the feast of Saint uh, Joachim and Anne, and so happy feast to all the Joachims, all the Annes who are present. They're, it's not a uh, not a very it's a quite a common name, not too common, but quite a number of you have got Anne and Joachim. Uh, there is nothing in the Gospels about Joachim and Anne. But we have the, there are non-canonical, non-church uh, has not recognized but inspired books written about that same time. And there's the, the main, uh, our main data about Joachim and Anne is from the Proto-Evangelium of St. James. And there they mention, uh, this is what is mentioned, and this has been a tradition among the Christians that uh, Joachim and Anne, uh, Anne means, this comes from the word Hanna, grace, so Anne meant grace, and uh, uh, Joachim means uh, Yahweh saves, so these two, the holy, I, I think that Joachim was working, was serving in the temple, but they had no children, and said they, that then Joachim went to the desert and prayed for a child, so child was always a blessing from God, and uh, they, finally he had a vision, for an angel who said your prayer is heard, and you will have a child. And then Mary was born, Maria, uh, sort of uh, the, the gift of God, the grace of God. And so Maria, that's Mary was born. And uh, you can see how well they must have trained her for her to be so pure, sinless, uh, our tainted nature, solitary boast, uh, the poet says. We pray. So uh, we pray now to see. Today it's Parents' Day because they're the parents of Mary. So many places they have Parents' Day in our own Archdiocese, I think next. Sunday we will celebrate uh, Parents' Day, but to the parents, uh, children wish your parents happy Parents' Day and uh, respect them, thank them, and let's pray for all the parents, especially the young parents, that they fulfill their task, their responsibilities uh, in a way that is worthy of this very great calling. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness for this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage. Grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants. May it spread through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustains us in all we do and so Lord with all the angels and saints we to give you thanks in exaltation we acclaim Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna. 
Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Holy is the Lord. Blessed, blessed is the one. The one who comes in the name of the Lord Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Holy is the Lord Holy is You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your, in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your love. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saints Joachim, Saint Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be questioned on life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy keep us free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait a blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Offer the sign of peace, Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Now.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you, we pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread that you have given your children. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Today is the beginning of the week, so have a lovely week ahead and uh, put safe and comfortable and make sure that you follow all the protocols, no, no COVID to, for any of you. Uh, tomorrow again, I one of the new priests and tomorrow you will see somebody you've been seeing regularly. Uh, it's uh, Father Kelvin Santis, who's my secretary. So he'll say ma he'll be saying mass tomorrow and I'll see you on Wednesday again. God bless you. Take care. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses, and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
and stay with you to help you choose the best. I thank my God each time I think of you. And when I pray for you, I pray with you. from Christ alone can come. May your deeds from day to day give glory to our God. I thank my God each time